Hello and welcome to our Bloodborne Pathogen video. We're here to teach you the do's and don'ts of how to deal with bloodborne pathogens in the classroom. Bloodborne pathogens are pathogenic microorganisms that are found in human bodily fluids and cause disease. Some of those diseases include human immunodeficiency disorder, hepatitis B virus, and hepatitis C virus. We hope you enjoy and we hope this teaches you how to deal with bloodborne pathogens. Okay, class, today we're going to talk about incised texture. You're going to want your pots, your needles, and you're also going to want some water. You can make so many textures with this, but make sure not to hurt yourself. You can make crosses and diamonds. Ah! Oh, oh my god! god. Oh, what's wrong, honey? Mrs. Sage, I accidentally cut myself with the needle and there's blood! Oh my god. Oh, it's just like we're going to take care of it. Oh my gosh. You guys, look at this stuff. Mrs. Sage! Okay, okay. Erin, go get some sponges to clean up the blood. Yeah. You okay? Everyone who helps can get 100% on this project. Give us the page. Shouldn't we call the janitor or the nurse? No, it's okay. We've got this. It's okay. Let's stop before this gets any worse. I agree. The first thing Miss LePage did wrong was that she didn't help the students right away. And she shouldn't have used the sponges. That could carry the pathogens further. Now that we know what Miss LePage did wrong, let's have her try it again. You can make all sorts of designs, such as crosses. And ah! Oh, oh my god. god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my okay, okay. It's gonna be okay. Oh god, gonna Katie, go get the nurse. Erin, go get some paper towels for her to clean up the blood. And we're gonna have Katie take you to the nurse. Okay, Carrie? Everything's gonna be okay. It's gonna be okay. Okay. One in four of you has or will get an STD. Okay, so let one, two, three, stand up. You have an STD. <laughs> one, two, hey, don't laugh. I'm trying to help you. Now, I've got some pictures of STDs. Oh. Pass them around. Oh. Look what can happen when you have unprotected sex. These are crabs. Now these, these are not crabs living on the beach, these are crabs living on you. Look at these crabs. Oh, what's wrong, D? Is it the crabs? Look, honey, crabs are not as bad as gonorrhea. Oh, I don't feel so well. Are you okay, honey? Yeah, I'm fine. <coughs> oh! Are you sure you're okay? Should I go get the nurse? What do you think, Caroline? Freeze, Miss Sassy is doing something wrong. Instead of cleaning up the vomit herself, she could have called the custodians to clean it up. The custodian has the right equipment and materials to clean up the mess and limit the spread of disease. She also wasn't wearing gloves, so she could have caught the disease herself. Miss Sassy, should yeah. you call the custodian? I was thinking the same thing before you said it. Good morning, class. Good morning, Mr. Vaccina. Good morning, Kate. Where's your pass? Good morning. Thank you. Okay, class, so today we're going to finish up our mole lab from yesterday and finish up the calx. Up front are your beakers and goggles. Hey, that's my beaker. I used it yesterday. Peter, it's mine. No, mine. Do you know what happened if you drop this? <gasps> Remember to always try to avoid dangerous situations. Use a broom and a dustpan and dispose of things properly. If someone gets cut from the glass, be sure to clean and bandage the wounds. And if Mr. Vaccina got the blood in his cut, the pathogens could have transferred from the student's blood to his blood and back to them. Always remember to be careful during a lab. Open up your projects from last class. Today we will be doing independent work. Hey Neely, did you catch the game last night? Yeah, that slap shot was super cool. <coughs> oh, oh. 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 Here are some tissues. Hey, what's going on over there? Uh, I actually sneezed on the computer. I'll get you some disinfectant. Yeah. 
Here's a pass. Go to the bathroom and wash your hands. Everyone else, get back to work. Well, Mr. Madison handled that nicely. He sure did. He cleaned off the computers and he made the students wash their hands. And he made sure no one touched the computer, including himself, until all the germs were killed. He's prevented the spread of this pathogen. Good, Good job, job, Mr. Medicine. Okay, guys, Trivia Tuesday. We're going to do how many components of blood are collected per year by the American Red Cross. And remember, no name, no credit. Right, Margaret? Right. Okay. Take 30 seconds. <laughs> okay, let's pass them on. Pass them on. What are we looking at here? Oh, no, that's... No, that's not right. That's not right at all. That's not even a uh, number. Okay, so Wumbo. We have Wumbo. We have YOLO. We have two. Close, we got a number, I'm feeling better. It's 30 million components of blood. So today we're going to be watching Gettysburg, which I have to go get from my room. So Tim, buddy, would you um, pull down the screen for me? Yeah. Awesome. Ah! Oh my God. Whoa, 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 are you okay? I just cut my hand on the whiteboard. Okay, I'm going to throw on some gloves right now. What's going on today? What is this friend? Is it? No, it's Trivia Tuesday. Okay, yeah, take this gauze. Ah, apply pressure. Margaret, can you come help him, please? I am going to call the nurse and you can go right down. Here, here. Let me help you. Uh, hello, Ms. Cohen. I'm sending down my student, Tim. He's cut and bleeding. Okay, well, um, enough about that. We are going to learn about the bloodiest war in history, the Civil War. Uh, Mr. Reinhardt, there's still blood on the board. Right. I am going to call the office and have them send a janitor to the rest of you. Now, try to stay with me. General Lee, hello. Um, yes, can you send a janitor to F208, please? Yes, Reinhardt. Thank you. Good talk. Good job, Mr. Kinehart. You handled that perfectly. You washed your hands, set the student down to the nurse, and made sure the blood was properly cleaned up. We hope this helped you learn the do's and don'ts of bloodborne pathogens. If you follow the examples of some of our teachers while learning from mistakes of others, you have no problem with pathogens. Remember to always follow safety procedures and to avoid contamination. We're the Pathogen Sisters signing off and wishing you good luck on your future pathogen endeavors. Do you know what happened if you drop this? Drop this. and Miss Mackenzie, all the fun kids from ATS. Miss Mackenzie had me dial the extension into the phone, not realizing it would actually connect to the office. So, so how's your day? <laughs> Remember to always... Mine was so good! Oh, so, so good! good. That's an unfortunate circumstance. <laughs>